Some of you may not know this, but Sister Location comes in VR form for, you guessed it, your VR headset. And I've gotta say, this game is 10 times more scary than its predecessor. Because it's a virtual reality port of the original game, it has very different mechanics that follow the same path of story. Which means it's going to be a whole lot more challenging to beat the game. That's right, I hate you, Night 4. But with all that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys ended up enjoying, be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Show some kindness to a person, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Editor Nervy here. Just to let you guys know, I will be doing voiceover for a lot of this video because the mic that we use is, uh, kind of bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know any other way to go about it. Sorry. But with that said, I think that the stream went really well and you guys are going to enjoy the video either way. So please do, but not too much. After we loaded into the game, we had a very pleasant surprise. Oh gosh. Yeah, that is loud. Holy cow, that is actually so loud. Is that loud for anybody else? Like, is it overpowering loud? But after getting our volume fixed and finally getting into the game, we were given access to hand unit, which to be honest with you, now that I think about it, makes a lot more sense now that I'm actually holding it in my hand. But anyways, with night one at our door, the vent in front of us opens up, so we go through it to our main office, which looks very clean, very sanitary, yes. See if Ballora is on stage. So Ballora's gonna be Press on that side. button on the elevated keypad to your left. And shaboink. Not there, okay, cool. Man, this is actually uh -oh. really cool it for like a fan game. Doesn't... However, this game is a little bit janky, so it does take a little bit to push all the buttons. Push the buttons! Okay. And after checking up on Ballora and Funtime Foxy, it was time to check on Baby, which I think we all know doesn't even show up on the first night. Also, these vents make me feel claustrophobic. I don't know if that works for anybody else. I want to get a Menace Quest 2, but those things are dang expensive. But they are worth it. They are actually very responsive for what they offer. But after feeling a little bit more comfortable with the controls, it was time to close off night one. Night two. Oh boy, night two. As everyone knows, night two in Sister Location can be a little bit more dangerous because in this night going forward, you can die. But I think that the real problem with night two is this. Yes, this. This footage right here that you're seeing is set at 500x speed. It took a long time. Just in case you guys aren't aware what this is, this is the Ballora Gallery section where you go over to the maintenance room. And the problem was, every single time I took one or two steps, Ballora would just show up and I'd have to stop moving. Yeah, it took about 10 minutes to get through the Black Abyss. But that wasn't nearly as bad as the maintenance section. When you do finally make it to the maintenance section, you have to hit the restart button and use the lever on the bottom to call off Funtime Freddy. One plus with this is that you can use the restart button while calling off Freddy. So what is the problem? Well, if you recall earlier in this video, I mentioned that this game is incredibly janky when it comes to pushing buttons. And that works exactly the same right here. Because instead of me just simply pushing buttons, I have to use my hand and hold it in that position. And if I let go at all, I have to restart the whole process. But we did eventually get it, which is very, very nice. Ha -ha. Please proceed back. And with that, that is night two. However, night three was quite interesting for a number of reasons. Number one, we had to deal with Funtime Foxy. And number two, the entire time I looked like I was a lost boy in the aisle looking for his mother. Mechanics in this one were actually quite interesting to me. In the original game, you could use the flash beacon as many times as you'd like. However, with this one, you can only use it every so often before Funtime Foxy catches you. <laughs> but after a few more tries, we eventually made it to the next section. There really isn't too much to really say about this section. I actually found it a lot easier than the original game. And yes, that includes Bon Bon. Got Great it. job. I got You've it. acquired both power. And after getting the mandatory Funtime Freddy jump scared extravaganza, it was on to night four. Seriously? Shh. Be still. Okay. And quiet. Oh, this is gonna suck. 
Look, there are the little switches. You gotta touch each and every single one. How is this gonna be possible? They're so tiny. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. This is so different. Oh, they unscrew it for me. No. Chat. How do you do this? Like they, they don't even give you like a real large chance. They're causing them to come loose. Oh shoot, don't move you your head, Gage. Come on. What is up Trust with you? Me. Gotta do two, it's so stupid. Don't. Other way about going about it. Oh, yes. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. And now we're on to the final night, and after seeing some disturbing imagery... It's so good, dude! Great. Now let's check on it's Funtime It's so graphic! Foxy. It was just a shadow in the original. <laughs> He's like, come, come. Great. It looks dude. like everything is... It was finally time for the maintenance section with Baby. Good job nice. reaching parts and service. Now this one wasn't too hard, you just do a couple things here, a couple things there, punch in the numbers in the punch pad number thing, push the big green button, and wave goodbye. Now it was the section where you had to walk in the dark and have baby direct you where you need to go that I really struggled with. You see, you have to use the thumbstick to move right, left, or straight, and so on and so forth. However, if I made even the tiniest mistake possible, I would die. Like, I'm not even kidding. Even the tiniest little twitch of the finger, I would die. And I kid you not, if I breathed incorrectly, I would die. But eventually, I did end up making it to the scooper room. Oh man. Finally. I've been out before. Oh. Hey, bud. But they always put me back. How's it going, they buddy? Put us back inside. Buddy, old pal. There's nowhere for us. It's to gonna be scary you. having the scooper there jump out at me. Go. Oh, it's gonna, be, it's like gonna be scary. This. Oh, it's gonna be scary. But if we looked like you, full, full sprint through the room. <laughs> Maybe. If we looked like you, then we would have somewhere. To okay. Go. Take me. The scooper only hurts for a moment. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Oh, I'm gonna feel it! Oh, I'm gonna feel it! <laughs> Woo. I I almost felt uh, it, it almost felt like I was gonna feel it. Oh man! Hey guys, Editor Nervy here. I just wanted to thank you guys for the amount of support that we've been getting on this channel. It's really something special to me. Just wanted to quickly apologize for not uploading as much as I've been wanting to. I've been trying my absolute best, but as uh, work has been kind of, you know, getting in the way of that, it has been very emotionally draining for me. But we are going to be making more videos more frequently or as frequently as we possibly can, both on stream as well as off stream. And especially seen as we have a new computer that uh, we just purchased not too long ago, there should really be no excuse not to be making and constantly constantly capitalizing on the video creation no excuses but anyways i hope you enjoyed that video if you guys did please please hit the subscribe button leave a like and i will see you in the next video all right see you guys later